Hey everyone, today I want to share my experience with the frustrating failed to load online fix 64.dll error and how I finally managed to fix it. I know many of you have been in the same boat, trying everything from reinstalling the program to manually putting the file back in its place without any luck. It can feel really overwhelming when nothing seems to work, and you even start wondering if your antivirus might be flagging the file as a virus or malware. I've been there, and I know how disheartening it can be when you're stuck with error codes like 126 or even 1450 that just refuse to go away. I decided to take a step back and dig a little deeper into what might be going on. I discovered that sometimes the issue isn't with your computer at all, but with where the file is actually located or how it's being handled by your system. After a lot of trial and error, I finally got it working by visiting a specific site dedicated to the fix. I downloaded the online fix 64.dll from that site and placed it in the exact folder where it was needed. In my case, the chain together binaries win 64 directory. It was such a relief to finally see the program launch without any hiccups. What really helped me was realizing that sometimes the fix isn't about doing something complicated with your settings or fiddling with advanced configurations. It can be as simple as replacing a single file that might have been corrupted or misplaced. I even encountered some advice in the community suggesting that if you're using Windows Defender or another antivirus, you might have to check your threat protection history and restore the file if it was mistakenly flagged. The key is not to give up after a few attempts because, more often than not, the solution is just a matter of getting the right version of the file and putting it exactly where it belongs. So, if you're facing this issue right now, take a deep breath and know that you're not alone. Try downloading a fresh copy of the online fix 64.dll from a trusted source and carefully replace the problematic file in your program's folder. Sometimes, a little bit of persistence is all it takes to get everything running smoothly again. Thanks for watching, and I hope this little walkthrough saves you some time and frustration.